Hello friends! Well, we're back working on the cover to our little golden book and I I wanted to share something. So I was talking with my friend and she, I was saying, you know, what do you think? And I was giving her some ideas on what I was going to do and her suggestion was to put some some trees in the background and I was like, ooh, that sounds like a good idea, only I don't have trees. And I thought, I need trees. Wow, I really need trees. Well, which, what trees am I gonna get? So, I've got mail, woohoo! Yes, they're Tim Holtz. Well, let me tell you the whole story. So, I had a credit on my Amazon account and I was looking for trees, and this one popped up first. Oh, let's just take this out of the packaging, right? Make, so it doesn't, doesn't bother me, right? And this one is an older die of his. And so it was, okay, it was like under $12. And I had a credit that was for more than that. So I just got this with my credit. And this one is brand new. This came out for Christmas 2023, and I've been looking at it, and um, sometimes you don't get things quite as fast on Amazon as you do with other things, but so I was looking at this, and I was thinking, oh, I'd sure like it, and then it popped up, and it, uh, and I, I have some favorite vendors that are, that sell scrapbook well, scrapbooking supplies, and this particular one is here in Utah. It's in southern, well, central Utah, I think. Anyway, it, it just meant that I wouldn't have to wait as long, and so I got this the very next day, and I still had some credit, so then it was discounted, and it was at a price that I was willing to pay because, you know, sometimes they fluctuate in price a little bit, and depending on where you're buying it from and all of that. So now we have to decide which one we want to use or if we want to use them all. So we're going to audition. Okay. So this one, so it's going to end up being like this when it's down. So we're just going to look at the size. Okay. And Again, I haven't fully, I'm going to get these guys just a little out of the way. I haven't fully quite decided exactly what I'm going to do. I still want to put some um, vellum paper to be like a mist or clouds. So if I do this one, I'm still going to need to put something behind that maybe. Okay. This one has two different ones. You can use one or the other or both. Hmm, I, well, I'm not sure. So I kind of want it in the background. But, so I could do something more like that. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to cut them I think I'm just gonna cut them out of some solid dark green. I'm gonna do them in three different shades of dark green so that they would all kinda of show a little differently because even if I use them all, and that's just a possibility, I haven't decided. So we are going to start cutting and we'll be back. Ooh, I think I'll cut these out of yellow because I was talking about having some little stars going behind. Yeah, I'll do that one too, okay. Okay, well, let's see how this looks together. Like I said, I wanted to do three different colors just to make sure, putting this away here real quick, just to make sure that, that if I do use all three, which I think I might, that I, uh, have a distinction between them all. I'm going to start with just these three. So, 
Let's start with this in the further back. I do have a title I want to put on there. And I did type, uh, well, I put it on my computer, my laptop. But I haven't uh, printed it up yet. So there is kind of a... And this would be in the front. Uh, now let's see what it looks like with the flowers. And I'm not even sure how far down I want it. See, I want them to show. And I may just ink a darker green right there. Because what I want to do, I, I pulled out some vellum. I want to do some vellum, and I want it to really kind of make a, a, a much bigger half circle, possibly even cover some of this. In fact, I, I think I want to rip it. So I am going to do clouds, too. I have several clouds. That could maybe be in the mist, but this isn't. There's going to be a lot of thought before I start gluing, that's for sure. Do I want this way down here? And I don't want her to get lost. So she's not lost when you get to the, and I was thinking also of putting then a flowers in between them so she's going to step onto the flower and then that. There's definitely room for, for the title and for some clouds. And my only concern is that this one is, well, let's try this. kind of getting attached here, right? So. I've been wanting to get some tree line because not only do we live in an area that has trees, but we've taken several vacations to Lake Tahoe that's full of trees like this. And I'm not done to... Um, scrapbooking or journaling or whatever my pictures from North Carolina and there were a lot of trees there so trees are definitely something that I will be using for a long long time so what if I do this what if I cover that I kind of need Rachel to come over Maybe I'll have to take a picture and send it to Rachel and say, Rachel, what do you think? Tell me what you think. Okay, I kind of like, I actually really like that. I can make a decision on my own, right? I am a junk journaler. I'm free. No, okay, maybe. And she's going to go. I really think I want to put one of those flowers that I auditioned the other day and then have a mushroom so she can be going from the mushroom to a flower to a mushroom I wonder if I should have that starting into the mist hmm I'm pulling this over here just a little more because she shows up real nice with that uh, green background she was sort of getting lost in the flowers I thought I like that. And then we've got this. You know, I have one other thought. I could put the title down below and push all of this up a little more. Okay, so I had some thoughts. <laughs> My first thought was that this bottom part from Paper Cut, Paper Cut Chicks would be significantly larger than my... Uh, title but it's not 
So I am going to probably do a line here that is similar to this in watercolor and just push everything up. The other thing is I as much, well, huh, I really don't know. I probably, I don't like that, I, but I didn't try it with the clouds yet either, so we'll see. But right now I'm going to do that. Okay, the two colors I used were the same that I used before. So Rustic Wilderness and Twisted Citron. And I used the Twisted Citron on here. So let's see how it looks, depending on which side. I made it big enough on purpose. You know, I think I might need a little bit of the Rustic Wilderness on the outside of this. Again, I just want to put it right on the edge. I don't want to put it, you know, so that there's a, a, a big glop of it like I like I did with the Twisted Citron. I just want it to give it a nice defined edge. And I think I need to go around again. Go around again. That was our favorite thing, my husband and I. We used to say that all the time. Go around again. From Go Dog Go. Anyway, back when our kids were little, that was a favorite book. So, and it was a favorite book when we were little. Isn't that funny? Some things never go out of style. Okay. Now I just have to decide which side I want to use. Decisions, decisions. See, I was thinking I wanted to use this side. Well, let me see what it looks like with this. Do I like that side better or do I like this side better? I think I like this side better. Okay, so I glued this on here. And now I am thinking I want to glue this underneath. But I need to know exactly where to glue it underneath because... I think I like it there, but but how does it work with my mushroom and my little girl? And so I'm gonna have the mushroom there, I think. Let's see. There's my little fairy. And so if I do a flower, I'm gonna have to push it up under there as well. So I have to make decisions now. So I wanna put the flower there. I need to make decisions about this as well right now. So I'm gonna play with this for a few minutes and see what I'm gonna do. Okay, so it got crooked again. They're not glued down yet. These are all of my clouds. I love these ones. I bought this one uh, die set and it was new for Halloween this year called Edison. And it's got this big pumpkin, a jack-o'-lantern because he's got a happy little jack-o'-lantern face on him. I bought it for the clouds. Um, I just love these clouds. So these are so ominous, aren't they? Now I've got another thought that I might want to do. So what if I put all of the flowers over just a bit more? Start with this one over here. And end up with this one here. And she's stepping into the unknown. I might move her over a little more. But she's stepping into the unknown, and here are the clouds. Yeah. 
And what if I cut a bunch of them? Kind of going like that, maybe even... I really love these guys, and I think that I'm just going to cut these guys repeat, 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 because I think these look... They're cool, and yet they're ominous too, right? this point and so I have this little like meadow there that's left right um, but I feel like I need definitely need to cut this out of the rest of this Okay, I'm going to put this one down. I've been doing a little bit of playing. Trying to figure out what, how I like it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use a really light gray on my clouds. But I need to get this guy down first. So I can play with the clouds. I'm not going to put her down until the last minute. But here are my clouds. Let me just show you. And I'm pretty sure, see, I, I want it to start encroaching right away. I love, I absolutely love these clouds. Oh my gosh. They're so... Spooky. They're spooktacular. Let's see. I think I want to pull this one back a little further. I might be able to cut that off and turn it around and use it. In fact, I'm probably going to do that. Let me kind of give a little thing there where one of my bigger snips, my snops, right? No, no snips. Okay, so now we put this one there. I might have this one go further that way. Hmm. Okay. Let me figure this out. So this is Lost Shadow. I guess I should pull up my gray. Light gray. There we go. You know the other half that I cut off and see they're they're kind of like translucent. Oh, they're not they're not absolutely invisible, but they're they're kind of invisible. Let's see if this works. I may have to actually pull out. I think I'm going to have to pull out my um oxide. When I play with oxide, I use this light gray one it's from scrapbook.com. Just so I can try to remember that these are oxide pads. And it's called Lost Shadow. Okay, let's see if I can get this to do what I want it to do. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe this is exactly what I want it to do. Let's, let's see. Because if it's not, I definitely have a darker gray. But see, I, I want it to be like a mist, right? I want it to be... It's interesting. So somebody in a group I follow on Facebook was saying, was asking what the difference was between oxide and regular ink. And the oxide is a pigment ink. So it definitely has, has well, different properties than the 
distress ink. I like that there. I'm trying to decide if I want to put it down with glue stick or if I want to put it down with PVA glue. Wow. You know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use my Distress Collage Medium. And this is just a press and seal uh, piece of paper, and it definitely keeps it uh, moist. I've had the same jar for quite a while, so that just shows you how much I use it, which I apologize to everybody who uses it all the time because I don't. Let's see. I have a smaller brush. I just don't know where it is. So I'm going to try this. Kind of like take almost everything off and see if I can put this down. So I'm thinking this will be translucent too. So let's see. Let's see how this is encroaching on the unsuspecting villagers. I don't think I had enough glue on my, I definitely didn't have enough glue on there, okay. Try this again. Get a little more on there. I do have this in a bottle that I can squeeze too. So if this doesn't work this way, I will try that. Got my son in the kitchen getting ready to cook. So if you hear noises and you go, Hmm, there are noises in the background. I'm definitely not the only one living here. There are four of us who have chosen to purchase a house together. Let's see. That's almost too see-through, though, isn't it? Oh, dear. I don't know. I do not know. Maybe I'll just have to do white. Maybe I'll do, darn, because I was really liking the way these layers looked. Maybe if I keep layering them. Hmm. Well, I'm not happy with that, so that's not going to be it. Maybe if I put a few drops of PVA glue on it, let's see. Oh, I have to find these. They disappear because they're so thin, but I've got several this size. Okay, I'm looking. Okay, we're gonna try oxide with hickory smoke. I have like this portion of a one. Let's see if it shows up better. Oh yeah, it's showing up. So maybe if I put some on here. Well, maybe. Let's see. Let's see how that looks here. Well, then I have to decide what I want to do when I glue them down. So let's try this one first. See, I almost don't like the ink on it at all. So, I wonder if there's a way of gluing it down that I'll be happy with. Maybe if I just do the bottom. Oh, 
let's see. Get a little on top. Well, right now, kind of like that. Okay, so I have done a lot of things I've never done before, and one of them is putting the collage medium over the top of, of a book cover. I really feel like I needed to do that in order to make it so that these pieces will not just start falling off. I need to do something for the edge. I may just trim those off, or I might take my sander. I don't know. We'll see. Um, right now it needs to dry, so we're in the drying process. But uh, I'm real happy with it. I decided I have I have stars that I could have used, but I decided to use this instead. Um, it came with the the trees that had the two tree set instead of the the one that was behind. I like how that goes behind. I asked my husband, do I need to make more mist? And he felt that that was just the right amount of mist. So, you know, it, it works. <laughs> anyway, I'm pretty happy with it. And with that said, hello, my name is Wendy and I am a junk journaler. And look, I've created this, this cover for my book. Oh dear, that's just so sweet. Oh, you did such a good job. Good job. Thank you. Now, now, will you call me a junk journaler? Well, honey, I hate to say this, but you need to put paper inside the book. Yes, you've got signatures to do. Ah. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel. I am a new channel and I'm enjoying doing this and I hope you're enjoying watching me and I hope to spend time with you each day and hit that uh, notification bell so you can see all of my uh, videos and have a wonderful day.